Hello. In this video, I will show you how to schedule an automatic job to send out email in AWS. The architecture diagram is shown below. I will set up the schedule in AWS EventBridge. It will trigger Lambda function in every certain period, and then this Lambda function will call AWS Simple Email Service to send out the email. I will implement this Lambda function with C-sharp in this demo. In this demo, I will create this Lambda function first, and then set up the simple email service. Finally, schedule it in the AWS event bridge. Before I start the demo, please subscribe my channel. I appreciate that. Now, let us log in to AWS console. I will first create a Lambda function. Click on Create a Function button. Select Author from Scratch Radio button. Type send email demo as the function name. Select .NET 8 as the runtime. Make sure to choose x86-64 as the architecture. Leave everything by default and click on create function button. It will take few seconds to complete the task. The Lambda was created successfully. Now I need to set up the Amazon Simple Email Service. Type SES in the search box. Click on Amazon Simple Email Service. The account dashboard page was open. Keep in mind, the SES account is in the sandbox mode. It only allows 200 email every 24 hours. If you need to production access, you have to request it. Click on Identities under Configuration. I have to create two identities. I will use these two emails to create the identities. One is for the sender, other one is for the recipient. First, copy the sender email. Click on Create Identity button. Select the email address as the identity type. Paste the sender email address into email address text box. Scroll down and click on Create Identity button. I will do the same thing for the recipient email address. Now, I already created two identities. Go back to Configuration page. You can see two email addresses were added but I still need to verify the ownership for these two email addresses. Let me log into Gmail to verify them. First, verify the sender email address. Click on the email from Amazon Web Service. And then click on the hyperlink. This is successfully verified now. Log in to recipient email and do the same thing to verify the recipient email. The recipient email was also verified successfully. Go back to AWS console and refresh the browser. You can see the identity status changed to green color. The Amazon Simple Email Service was set up successfully. Check the sender email checkbox and click on Send Test Email button to test it. Make sure the From address is the sender email address. Select Custom as the Serario. Copy the recipient email and paste it in Custom Recipient text box. Type this as a test as the email subject and body. Scroll down and click on Send Test Email button. Now, I should receive an email from sender email address. Go back to Recipient Mailbox and click on Inbox. You can see the email subject. This is a test from the sender 202377. Click on the email title. It shows this is a test. The test is good. Now, we have to open Visual Studio 2022 and implement the Lambda function to send the email uses Amazon Simple Email Service. Click on File. New. Project. To create the AWS Lambda project with C-sharp, click on Next. 
Type AWS send email as the project name. Click on create. Choose the empty function and click on finish button. Open the function CS file. I will modify the function handler. It will use to send the email. Before I start to modify this function, first I need to install few NuGet packages. Click on Manage NuGet Packages. Select NuGet org from drop-down package source. Click on Browse tab. First, I will install AWS SDK, Simple Email V2 package. Select the latest stable version and install it. Second, I need to install Newtonsoft JSON package. Select the latest stable version. Last package is Amazon.lambda.cloudwatchevents. Open up the packages under the project and make sure all these three packages were installed successfully. For saving time, I already prepare the code. Let me copy it and explain it line by line. First, define two constant sender email and recipient email. Now, modify the function handler. Copy the code and paste here. Highlight the code. Click on Edit, Advanced, Format Selection to make the code in good format. Since this function will use to send email, change the return type string to void. It doesn't need to return anything. This function also need to catch the event sends from EventBridge, so change the input parameter string type to CloudWatch event. Mouse over the region endpoint object. Click on Show Potential Fixes. Select using Amazon namespace. Now the code change was completed. Let me go over the code line by line. When EventBridge trigger this function, it will pass the event object into this parameter. Now convert this object into JSON string. We will display this JSON string in the email body later. Define Amazon Simple Email Service Client and initialize it with US West Region Endpoint. Why I use the US West Region Endpoint? Because I set up the Amazon SES in US West California. This is US West 1. Next, define and initialize the send email request object. Assign the constant sender email to from email address. Assign the recipient email to two addresses. Define the email subject. It will be test email from Amazon SES plus the current date and time. Last thing is to define the email body. I will pass JSON string of the event object that I define in line 25 to the email body. So you can see how the event object look like. One last thing is send out the email using send email async function and pass in the send request object. Await for the respond and display the message ID to console. If send email async function throws the exception, I will catch it and display the error message to the console. Before I end up this lambda function, I will also display this JSON string for the input event object to console. Review it one more time. It looks good. Let us build it. Right click in the project file. Select either build or rebuild. It is successfully complied. Now I will publish it to AWS Lambda.
Right-click on the project. Click on Publish to AWS Lambda. The Upload Lambda function pop-up dialog box open up. Select Redeploy to existing for function name. Select the Lambda function send email demo that I created before. The handler field is very important. If you enter it wrong, the Lambda function will fail to run. The handler format will be project name, namespace, class name, and function name. So type the project name here. AWS send email. Type namespace's name here. It will be AWS send email too. Type class name here. It will be function. Finally, type the function name here. It will be function handler. Make sure select release as configuration and net 8.0 as the framework. Click on next button. Leave everything by default and click on upload button. It will take a few minutes to complete the task. It is completed now. Let us go back to AWS console. Type Lambda in the search box. Click on it. You can see the zip package was uploaded there 22 seconds ago. Click on it. Before we can call this Lambda function to send out the email, we need to add the permission. Click on Configuration tab. Click on Permissions. Select the role name. I need to add the permissions so the Lambda function can access Amazon's simple email service to send the email. Click on Add Permissions button. Select Attach Policies. Search SES in the search box. Check the Amazon SES Full Access checkbox and select Add Permissions button. Now, this policy was successfully attached to the role. Go back to Lambda function. Select the Test tab to test the Lambda function and SES before set up the event bridge. Type My Event as the event name. Click on the Test button. It executed successfully. Click on the Detail. Look at the log. It show email sent and the message ID. It also display the input object in JSON string. Let us go to recipient mailbox. Refresh it. You can see the new email. Test email from Amazon SES with timestamp from sender 202377. Click on it. It shows the input object in JSON string format in email body. Let us go back to inbox. I live Los Angeles, but it shows in the Eastern Time. I will show you how to config the Lambda function with Pacific Time. Go back to AWS Console. Click on Configuration tab. Click on Environment Variables. Click on Edit. And select Add Environment Variable button to add the environment variables. Type TZ in the key. The value should be any TZ identifier from this list. Since I live in Los Angeles, let me search Los Angeles. Copy it. Paste it here. Click on Save. It updated successfully. Select the Test tab again. Refresh it one more time. Click on Test button to test the new change. The Lambda function was executed successfully. Go back to Mailbox. You can see the new email was sent out with Pacific Standard Time in the email title. Click on the email title. It shows the JSON string of the input event object. Go back to Lambda function page. Now I will start to set up the schedule in EventBridge. 
The event bridge will trigger this Lambda function to run in every certain period to send out the email. Search event bridge in the search box. Make sure it's select event bridge rule and click on create rule button. Type my event rule as the name. Select schedule. Click on continue to create rule button. Choose a schedule that runs at a regular rate, such as every 10 minutes. For the demo purpose, just type one and select minutes in the dropdown. Click on next. Choose AWS service as target types. Select Lambda function for target dropdown. Select the Lambda function name send email demo in the function dropdown. Leave everything by default. Click on next. Next. Review it one more time. Click on create rule. The rule was created successfully. Go back to Lambda function page. You can see the event bridge is shown here. And it connects to the Lambda function send email demo. Now it will send out the email automatically in every one minute. Click on monitor tab. Select view college watch logs. You can see the logs. Select the latest one. You can see the email was sent out successfully with message ID and the input object with JSON string format. Let us go back to our mailbox. Click on inbox. You will see two new emails. One is 51 minutes, whereas the other one is in 52 minutes. Click inside the email body. You will see the input object which passed in from EventBridge with JSON string format. It includes some information like version, account, region, source, etc. That's all. I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel.